Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Guys, if you're not a member of the Chatterbox, please make sure you join by clicking the link in the description bar if you do not have a join now button next to the subscribe button. It is the dollar and 99 cents to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. What are the perks to joining a paid membership? One is to be in the first to know, two is exclusive live streams, three, some exclusive videos, and four, random updates. <laughs> and if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. My Instagram name is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. <laughs> All right, guys, as you guys see, I have a box here and I wanna share this box with you guys. I, um, this is my first time buying from this artist so i am nervous and excited all at the same time so i am going to show this i am not sure if i'm going to upload this prior to this baby being painted or um right away but let's do this together let's just jump right into it i don't want to make this a long video because my time is very limited at this moment so, aha, isn't that wonderful? It's so pretty. I love this. I love that they do these boxes. So I guess, how do I get it out? I guess I can, do I get it out? Look, it's like, how do you get the box out? The box, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't want to really set the box. Although I can if I have to. Uh, it's like the perfect fit. Okay, so maybe I will go ahead and cut the box. And my hair is not helping because it's hanging in my face and I can't see. So... I'm not gonna save the box. <laughs> Y'all know I can't never get nothing out. My coordination skills is never good. I am not a smart thinker when it comes to stuff like this. So don't ever give me a puzzle to figure out. All right, so there's that. So it come in this beautiful wooden box that I absolutely love. Now, my thing is, would I have to send this box to the person if I sell it? Oh, look, oh, it comes like open like a, a puzzle. <laughs> I was saying a puzzle, but it really does come open like a puzzle. And there's a card in here. And it is a COA. And it is an edition of 20. And this one was just poured of soft blend. And it is Grumpy Girl Platinum Custom Blend. And hand sculpted, molded, and casted by sil silicone artist J.S. Price, which is Jennifer Sussman Price. And this is the way it looks. The back side, the front side of me, and this is the back side, and I think that's nice. So, we are going to. Okay. All right. So, we're gonna. Oh, uh oh. I think I had seen this somewhere. Someone said, yep. <laughs> that they are actually tied. So this, you have to unloose them. <laughs> so they are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, let me take, she comes with a passive clip and a pacifier, isn't that lovely? And a little bracelet. Oh my gosh, I just want to feel the silicone and look at it. Okay, I'm gonna move the box over here. Oop. Box, box, I don't want 
don't mess it up. Oh. Now for me, there's a couple things that I like to look at when I first get a um silicone baby. Oh my gosh, these braids are getting on my nerves. Um and that is the pore, of course. And she has I'll see if I can wipe. Let me see if that wipes off. She got something on her silicone. It looks like it might wipe off. Her silicone is really nice and soft. And I like so far the pour of that is nice. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at inside that mouth. Oh my goodness. And she can take a full pacifier. Look at this little girl. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me see. So our head will turn from side to side. All right, let me see, I gotta see. Okay, yep, she got her little girl bits. I'm gonna get something in white and see if that comes off on her um, leg. They have to get a good bath anyway. So she comes in her little custom Thing, but we're gonna take all this off just so I can, you know, get a full look at her. Now I am, I think I gotta, I gotta find something to tie my hair up because it is not working out for me. I cannot see when I lean down. So I'm gonna take a ribbon. Sorry for the motorcycle guys. Um. Yeah, I'm tying my hair up, guys. I'm sorry. I just I just can't take it leaning in my face. And I'm going to get something to see if I can wipe um, that off of her. And it looks like it's just from handling her. And it's no big deal. I just want to make sure they don't come off. And trust me. Yep, wiped right off it probably came off the box actually yep all right wipe right off with no problem so guys if you get something and it does have something on it don't freak out a lot of times with silicone because they pick up everything and so you know it's just as simple as just wiping it off don't freak out don't make the the um, sculptors seem like they did something wrong. Oh, look at that little head. Oh, I love it. All right, so let's get her undressed. She is um, very preemie. Not very preemie, but she is a, a tiny baby. Well, I'm thinking she probably almost the size of Drew, actually, still. Oh, man, but her body, it's beautiful. Her silicone is beautiful, too. She does not have any armatures, so she's gonna be just a little floppy moppy. So I, I, I like armatures, but I didn't ask for armatures, and I think she'll be fine. Um, man, she feels so good. Let's see, she not marshmallow, but she's super soft. Yeah. Oh my God, that's nice and soft, nice and soft. Let me look at her back. Oh yeah. Oh, she wrinkles beautifully. I know you guys probably can't see that, but her hands are beautiful. Her silicone pour is nice. This is nice silicone, man. Yeah, this is this is what I'm used to working with. I think the sky is gonna be the limit with her. Oh, she got the cutest little bum bum. Look at that. She got a cute little bum bum. Okay. She got a little. So, yeah. She is. Okay, so I want to give a quick review of the kit. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I see box openings of blank kits, um, of course, we don't, we're not getting any painting or any of that detail. So, I want to know more about the kit itself. So, um, 
one thing I should have done is verified the inches, but I'm going to say she's got to be at least 16 inches um, long. She will definitely um, fit preemie just fine. I believe she will still fit some small newborn like um, like Drew. Um, she's just a tad bit shorter than him um, lengthwise. Her arm seems to have a little bit more length than his to a certain extent and um so she has you know a nice size feet which is really nice um and like i stated before her mouth has been open but she has beautiful a beautiful bottom lip that's gonna be fun to paint um her silicone is definitely what i would call a super soft blend um I'm trying to get out of the habit of comparing the babies, but to other artists and other collectors that has had different dolls, that's just how we measure it, um, you know, because we can't feel through the screen. Sorry, this just from the box. Um, I want to say, like I said, she's definitely more along the lines of a blanket from like Lillian or Claire, which is poured by Claire Teller dolls um so it would be that same level of softness it's not the you know the memory foam that goes in and sinks in and takes slow rise come out it you know it comes back up it's not that but it is very soft i'm going to show you her movement her movement like i said she didn't get armatures um i think armatures would have been nice in her um i didn't ask for them i don't even know if the artist does them but her head falls back very graciously um she has a nice shaped little head is a little flat towards the back just very you know like a little newborn -y head which will be fun to root because it won't take much <laughs> and um she has a very cute uh belly button i can't show her girl bits but they look very realistic so does her bum bum um as far as the wrinkle factor beautiful wrinkle factor um i really one thing i really really love about her is i love how her pore is i love that it is not translucent at all to any any degree this this pore is for me in my opinion um this in the claire teleport is the best to paint from um, I love this type silicone. Um, I, l I love when it it's poured like this. This is this is what I like to paint from. Um, I have not painted her or anything, so I won't be able to give a review on how she takes the paint when I get done. But just going off of what I know for so far, from what I you know from my experience so far in painting silicone, I think she's gonna do fine. Her. Um, you know, like her little sprout and stuff like that. Not really there unless you're looking for it. Her head turns from side to side. So she can easily lay down and not be head in the, the pillow. Which I love. Her neck wrinkles nicely but naturally. Um, I, I will have to say that um, her body style and her neck and all that, the way that her silicone is, is um, very, very nice. And she has a nicer body for sure. And her feet, it's, it's really nice. So I really, really love her. Um, definitely looking forward to buying more. Um from um jennifer price um i will say that it is going to be hard to to let this one go because you know i prefer the realistic bodies and stuff like that the really nice bodies and stuff like that and i i think she is you know more of my speed um So I'm I'm really excited. I um 
I'm excited to paint her. So I'm trying to think if I cover any didn't cover anything else. And like I said, she definitely, you know, like I said, you definitely need to support her head. She definitely will, you know, she'll bend. You know, she's 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 definitely gonna bend. Um, she has a little fat baby tummy. I mean, she will bend all the way back. She's very, very soft. I mean, her silicone, like I said, it's it's like the dough. I like, that's the way I call it. I like it. It looks like dough. And when you, it sounds like skin. Um, some silicone, when they come as blank kits, they have a very shiny gloss. And I know that's because some of them don't mat them and that's fine. But even still, it's a, it's a different, I don't know how to explain it, but the color of this is perfect for me. I am so excited to paint her. I, I don't. You know, I can do all this with her now because she's not sticky. Apparently, she's been brushed with something. Um, so, I have to wash her really good. And that's the only other thing that when they come like this and they feel like this, you got to wash them really, really good. Um, but this is how, I think, for the most part, um, when you get um, clear kits, they kind of feel like this I I'm sorry she just looks so real it's just like I just want to keep doing that like I mean you know she has that real baby effect so pretty cool um so she has both ball fists which is good for babies um I think this fist is a nicer fist this one is okay I don't I'm not too too particular about the the position of the hand on this one but it's still nice. The fingers are nice. The nail beds are well defined. So it will be nice to paint them and be able to put detail in them. So I, overall, like I said, I, I am very happy and I am very excited. I love that she can take a full pacifier. That's, that's key. Because, <laughs> you know, even though I don't use pacifiers that much, I like to have the option to use them. So like I said, I'm going to get her cleaned up, washed up, I mean, not cleaned up, she's already clean, just washed up to, and prep for painting. Um, she'll be painted and rooted, I don't know what color, <laughs> I don't know where this baby is going to want to go, but I do know that the sky is the limit with her because of her silicone pour. Um, I am excited because I feel like I can do anything with this skin tone, um, you know, this, this neutral color here. And it's not just the color, it's the color and it's, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it's more of the color, the texture of the silicone kit. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's perfect. Um, and the last thing I want to say before I end this video is that the customer service that I received during the process of purchasing this baby was the most amazing customer service I've received. Like it was really, really good. Now, I don't know. It was my, only my second time. The first time I bought a cuddle head and it was a nice customer service as well. Um, this process, I felt like she didn't feel like she was, I was bothering her or anything. It was just really, really a good transition, transaction transition transaction and so that's all I have to say like I said it's only my second time purchasing for them but you know just to give a review on customer service wise I think that she was amazing um, to deal with I really enjoyed that part because um, that's something very you know hard to get I love this box um, the box is amazing I'm gonna put her COA in there so I don't lose it um, but yeah, so she can straighten her little legs out. She can ball it up. I'm sure I'll be able to play with her a little bit more once she's done. Like I said, I did not opt for armatures, but, um, you know, this is the first baby I've had in a while without armatures. But I think she's soft and you can still do a lot of things. So when, like I said, especially when she's, like when you lay her on her tummy, there's no, oh my God, the wrinkles. I love the wrinkles. The wrinkles in her shoulders, 
the wrinkles oh my gosh it's just like beautiful anyway she's going to be a pleasure to paint and a pleasure to hold and going to be a hard one to let go but anyway amongst a couple other kits that i will be having i will be painting her and then i will make her available once she's rooted and i will show her to you guys anyway guys thanks for watching and i will see you the next time